Being a skincare lover, we're really interested in new. New products, new ingredients, uh, new wish lists, right? We kind of get stuck in this cycle of new, 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 and we're always sort of chasing that next thing. And I don't necessarily think that that's always a bad thing, but I feel like we don't give enough love to those products that have served us for years. You know, those core staple products that you just keep buying over and over again. So give this video a big thumbs up because today I want to focus on the old. I want to focus on products that have served me throughout my K-beauty journey. I want to share with you guys the products that I've repurchased the most. <music> Okay, so first up, it's got to be the Face Shop Rice Bright Light Cleansing Oil. This stuff is so affordable. This is about $10, and that's really important to me when it comes to a cleanser. You know, when it comes to skincare budgeting, I really don't like to put a lot of my skincare dollars towards cleansers. I just don't have that much money to spare on expensive or fancy cleansers. I really want to get the one that is the most effective and the most affordable because at the end of the day, in my opinion, the cleanser is on your face for so little and washes down the drain. I'd rather put my money towards serums, more targeted treatments. That's just what works best for me. So I really appreciate a really affordable cleanser, first or second. And this one definitely fits the bill. But don't think that the only reason I like this is because it's affordable. It's got to work too, right? And this is very effective. Now, the texture of this cleansing oil is very, it's a very light oil. It spreads across the skin so well, and it doesn't leave a heavy film when it washes away. It washes away clean, no residue. And I really like that for a couple of reasons. I feel like thicker oils tend to be a little harder to spread across the face. You know, there's more tugging involved sometimes. And I also feel like lighter oils actually uh, clean the pores just a little bit better. If you are prone to clogged pores, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. When you put a cleansing oil on your skin, you might get like a little gritty sensation, a little sandy sensation as you're kind of like working it into your skin. And that is a sensation that has been called grits. It's basically the hardened sebum plugs popping out of your skin and the oil cleanser is able to do that. Um, like attracts like, remember science class, like attracts like and uh, oil attracts oil and pulls it out of your pores. I generally in my experience just find that lighter cleansing oils tend to have this this sensation. They tend to be more effective at pulling grits out of your skin. So that's a real bonus for me because I, I, I do get quite a few grits and I love that this oil just seems to pull them right out beyond cleaning your pores out though. It's got to break down makeup and this breaks down makeup really effectively. This uh, takes away eye makeup so nicely. I am not a very sensitive person around my eye area. I do have sensitive skin, but my eye area is not especially sensitive and I usually put my cleansing oil on my eyes to break out my makeup and this works so effectively. It takes mascara down, waterproof eyeliner, this stuff breaks it down easily and effectively. Now this cleanser does not contain essential oils but it does contain synthetic fragrance and for some people that can be an issue if you have a sensitive eye area. I have sensitive skin as I said but my eye area, you know, my eye area is not too bothersome. It, it just kind of goes with the flow and I don't have problems with this. I've bought this so many times but I want to put it out there because I know that some people have had issues with it and it is something to be aware of especially if you suffer from a sensitive eye area. However if you don't this isn't a really affordable option for you and really to break it down the reason why I love this so much is of course it's effective um, of course it's affordable but there's another reason I like this it's really accessible you know as a non-Korean K-beauty fan right I don't live in Korea it's not always easy to find every product that you know um, I want to try I can't always get my hands on it as international as the community may be some products products are just harder to get and this face shop cleansing oil has been around for such a long time. It's a real classic K-beauty product and 
it's very accessible. It's available in pretty much every K-beauty shop. It's available pretty much in every country, I feel like, and it's even available on Amazon, so I can get this delivered to my door quickly. So I appreciate that it's accessible, it's easy to find, it's affordable, and at the end of the day, it works. Speaking of cleansers, I want to talk about an eye makeup remover. I usually don't give eye makeup remover a lot of love, but I gotta feature this product because I've just purchased it so many times, and if any anybody's ever looking for an eye makeup remover or a lip tint remover, this is the one that I tell them. So we gotta talk about it. It's the Etude House Lip and Eye Remover. Oh my god, that name. <laughs> I want to keep my eyes, I want to keep my lips, but I'd like to remove my makeup. Please <laughs> keep my lips. Um, it's just a goofy name. Anyways, this is such a great eye makeup remover. Even though I usually use my um, oil cleanser these days to break down my eye makeup, I still like to have an eye makeup remover on hand to remove any residue, but I also have used this to break down completely my eye makeup and it works perfectly. One of the reasons why I like this so much is it's not stingy. You know, um, my actual eyes, <laughs> as everybody's are, my actual eyes are sensitive, just not the eye area. But my actual eyes are sensitive, and when it comes to putting a product uh, right by your eye, right, you gotta take into consideration the fact that it could irritate your eye. And as much as you wanna say, just close your eyes really tight. It just isn't, it's, it's gonna get in there eventually, right? This stuff doesn't sting your eyes. This doesn't um, sting your eyes at all. And it also, um, it's a bi-phase uh, eye makeup remover, you know, where it's the two layers and you have to shake it. I find those to be very effective eye makeup removers, but sometimes they're greasy, right? And they leave a residue on your eyelashes that ends up making your eyes like blurry, your vision blurry. Yeah, that's not this. That's why I really like this. It's bi-phase. It's got the two layers, the oil and the water, but when you shake it up and everything, it's not oil. Oily. It doesn't feel, it doesn't actually leave um, any kind of uh, finish on your skin. Some eye makeup removers make your skin a little, a little oily. You have to kind of rinse it off. Not with this one. It's so watery. It's so light. There's no residue. It doesn't mess around with your vision. Does it break down makeup? Absolutely. And it also happens to be affordable. Remember, I really appreciate cleansers that fall into that affordable category. Honestly, I appreciate any skincare that falls into the affordable category. So this um, this one is 250 milliliters. You can get that for $14, or you can get the slightly smaller, uh, more standard size, the 100 milliliters for $7. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's super affordable staples like this that allow you to free up your skincare budget for more exciting, maybe, products. Shiseido Senka Anti-Aging Sunscreen. This sunscreen has gotten me through so many, many, many years. Okay, so I looked back on my order history because I'm a creature of habit and I really only order from the same like handful of places. So I started looking back at like my online ordering history. Yeah, I counted it. I've actually purchased this sunscreen 11 times in six years. 11. <laughs> That's love. If ever there was love, that's love. 11 times. Let me tell you why. I mean, I mean, 11 times should just be the answer. Okay, let's move on to the next product. No, no, no. Let me tell you about this sunscreen because it's, it's actually a pretty good sunscreen. All right, so chemical filters being used here, and this is SPF 50 with a PA of plus four. Pretty good coverage. Now, the chemical filters being used in this, this sunscreen is a little bit uh, of an older sunscreen. So we have a mix of new generation chemical filters with some older generation chemical filters. Uh, the mix on this one seems to be pretty good uh, and points to the fact that it's a very photostable sunscreen, which is obviously very important. Now, if you're familiar at all with Japanese sunscreens, you're probably familiar with the fact that they like their alcohol in sunscreen, and we do have alcohol in this formula. Um, the thing is, though, it's not irritating at all, and my skin, if there is a speck of alcohol that is formulated to dry the skin, dry out the skin, or control sebum, right, oh, my skin will react, trust me. It will dry out. Uh, like a raisin, pretty quickly. Um, not with this sunscreen at all. Don't be surprised to find alcohol high on the list, but don't be fooled because it's super moisturizing. It's super moisturizing. Actually, this is probably the most moisturizing sunscreen I might have ever tried. Um, it's very moisturizing and 
The one drawback with this one is that it takes a little bit of time to dry down. Um, it definitely takes some time. If you're going to go in with your makeup next, you're going to want to plan about 10 minutes, maybe even 15. Like, there is a dry time, so thank goodness the alcohol is there, because you imagine what the dry time on this would be if it wasn't. Now, good thing about the ingredients list is that it contains no uh, essential oils. That's a more recent phenomenon in Asian beauty products. Uh, like I said, this is a little bit older, so no essential oils here and no added fragrance. So it's actually a pretty good formulation. As far as beneficial ingredients go on this sunscreen, we've got glycerin, we've got hyaluronic acid, pointing towards the fact that it's hydrating and moisturizing, but this also has a couple of antioxidants in it, which is always good to see in combination with UV filters. So this is his vitamin E as well as coenzyme Q10. And antioxidants along with UV protection is great because it adds that extra level of protection. You're getting that um, free radical um, and oxidative damage protection on your skin in combination with your UV protection. You know, the thing is, when I discovered this sunscreen, it was that one sunscreen that finally did it for me because I went through like trauma <laughs> trying a lot of different sunscreens that irritated my skin, dried out my skin, um, made my skin feel like a raisin, right? Um, I went through a lot of sunscreens and it was, it was difficult. I'm glad that I stuck with it though because I found this one and it just worked. It was like hydrating and moisturizing enough for my dehydrated skin. It didn't feel uncomfortable on my skin, drying my skin out. It didn't irritate my skin burn my skin sometimes when you put it on your skin like your skin flushes not a good sign um i went through a lot to find this sunscreen and once i found it i stuck with it obviously but i'm telling you all of this because when i found this sunscreen i didn't know anything i didn't know anything six years ago about sunscreen i didn't know i didn't even know the difference between chemical and physical let's be honest here so i just wanted to say like i actually picked a good sunscreen this is the sunscreen I still wear today because it still, it still li lives up to the standards I want a sunscreen to have. Yes, I'm much more knowledgeable now than I was six or seven years ago. Of course I am. You just gain more knowledge the more that you, you, you know, stick with something, right? I have different requirements now, but you know what? This still fits them. So it's nice to know that an old favorite, even when you don't really know what you're doing, still stands up and, and holds up to the test of time. And the running theme seems to be with this video is affordability. And this one fits affordability. It's about $12 for the bottle. And I mean, what's not to like there? Next up is the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin C Drop. If you've been following me for a while, you know that this is one of my favorite Claire's products, honestly. I love this stuff so much and I've been using it continuously for about two years now. I really, really believe in it. It has done so many good things for my skin. It has been so beneficial and I just, I just love it. So why, why do I love it? Well, first of all, it's gentle. It's 5% ascorbic acid, which doesn't sound like a lot, you know, in the world of 15%, 17%, 23%, five, five doesn't sound like a lot, but even though it's gentle, it's actually quite effective. I do see results on my skin quite quickly, even with just 5%. So I really appreciate that because you guys know I have sensitive skin. You guys know that I like to take a little bit more of a gentler approach when it comes to my skin. And this really fits into that philosophy while still delivering benefits. Speaking of benefits, what does this do? Well, uh, it fades hyperpigmentation, which if I get any little bit of inflamed pimple anywhere on my face, you're gonna bet that there's gonna be a dark mark. That's gonna take forever to fade. It's, it's a pain in the butt, right? Um, this actually helps to speed that cycle up a lot quicker. This really helps to fade them quickly. Now I'm talking about new hyperpigmentation. If you have older hyperpigmentation, especially like sun damage hyperpigmentation, I don't know if this is gonna work for you. It might not, it, this, in that, in that case, this might not be strong enough for you, but the thing is with old hyperpigmentation, it takes a long time to create it. It's gonna take a long time to correct it, no matter the percentage that you're using. So stay patient with that one. If you're trying to work on old hyperpigmentation, I can for sure attest that this works on new hyperpigmentation. And this just gives your skin a glow. It really evens out your skin tone. It will make your skin bright. It will make your skin look super duper healthy. 
The other thing that I love about this product is the fact that it's stable. It is stabilized pure vitamin C. For a long time, I mean, I knew the benefits of vitamin C. I kind of wanted to try vitamin C for a long time before I tried this one, but I just didn't want to buy it because every single review of every single pure vitamin C product would be, well, it was great, but it oxidized on me in three weeks, or I only used half the bottle and then it all turned brown and I had to throw it away. And I was like, I'm not wasting my money and only being able to use a product for three weeks or like half the bottle, right? I got kind of scared. I was like, I don't want to refrigerate this. Like, it just seems too fussy. So when I found this product and it says, it's stable. You don't have to refrigerate it. It won't oxidize on you. We believe in it so much. It's in a clear bottle. Wow. I was willing to take a risk on something that claimed to be stable. And you know what? It really is. You don't have to refrigerate this one. Definitely keep it out of direct sunlight. Um, as you should all of your skincare products, by the way, keep it out of direct sunlight and keep it in a stable temperature. But this this doesn't this really doesn't oxidize i'll tell you my very first bottle of this lasted about seven months and i had about this much left and it turned a little bit yellow i was fine with that because the bottle was basically empty and um i i can have it open for for many 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 months and have no problem with it and so no refrigeration um really no special care needed and i appreciate it it lives up to the claim i know for me it just it just works it just works Am I going to repurchase a fourth bottle of this now? I don't know. This is the controversy. I really wanted to include this product on the list, but I am feeling a little bit torn about repurchasing it just because it does contain essential oils. Now, as I said, I've been using this product continuously for two years now. I've had no problems with it. It's done nothing but wonders for my skin. But as you know, I have run into an issue with some essential oils and I am kind of moving away from, from that ingredient. I'd rather not mess around with it. So I don't know. I still have quite a bit of my bottle right now, so I'm not too worried about it. I certainly haven't found anything that can replace it. Um, but for now, it's up in the air. If you don't have an issue with essential oils though, please. I wholeheartedly recommend it. And finally, the fifth product that I want to share with you. I wasn't sure which I wanted to put on here. I, I knew I knew that, you know, Casarex probably would make the list or probably Benton. And I was thinking one of the snail serums. And as I was kind of counting, remember I told you I looked up all my order history, counting you know, how many times that I purchased the Benton Snail Bee Serum or how many times that I purchased Casarex Snail Essence. I came across another product that had crossed my mind, but I guess maybe it wasn't too exciting that I didn't really consider adding it to this video until I counted how many times I had I had purchased it. So this is the Acosser X Good Morning Low pH Cleanser, a K Beauty Classic. Yeah, I purchased this one eight times. <laughs> eight times. That's a that's that's a pretty good amount, right? It must be a good cleanser, and it is. This is such a popular product. I think most of us who are watching this have, have definitely heard of it and probably have already tried it. It is an effective cleanser and, of course, affordable. Now, um, the reason I first got this many moons ago was because it was low pH, and I had kind of learned that low pH was really good for your skin, but I had never really tried it. You know, prior to using this cleanser, I was using American drugstore cleansers that were, like, geared towards acne and oily skin, which at the time I was suffering with more acne and I had a lot more oil on my skin. And I was kind of being rough, you know, 2% salicylic acid in a cleanser twice a day. <laughs> I'm internally screaming right now. My future self is internally screaming about my past self. Um, but yeah, I was just being kind of rough on my skin. So I wanted to try low pH, but at that time, that concept was just starting to come into importance. People were starting to really talk about pH levels and cleansers, and there weren't a lot of options. So Casa RX was a natural choice. It says low pH in the name, right? And it delivered. It was, it was eye-opening for me. And I never looked back since then because this cleanser changed the game for me. It changed the game for me, and it really changed the philosophy of how I treat my skin, which is a lot more gentle than I did before. So, um... It's, it's special in many ways. It also just happens to be a very good and effective cleanser. So will I repurchase this for the ninth time? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, the last time I purchased this was in the fall. 
of this past year of 2018 and um, once I finished up that that tube I didn't feel compelled to buy it again and that was for the fact that there's just a lot of other options out there now I mean when I first started with this cleanser six seven years ago I mean there was nothing there was nothing that was like two um, and now there's a whole like treasure trove of low pH cleansers that you can choose from because I'm low pH for life guys um, I'm not going back to high, to high pH cleansers so uh, for me I just feel like there's so many wonderful fantastic new options out there and remember what I said at the beginning of the video you know you kind of get stuck in a cycle of newness and as somebody who shares reviews of skincare products on the internet I kind of, you know, want to explore more. I, I want to expand my horizons, so to speak, right? I want to have something new to talk about. Um, but, but the biggest reason why I haven't just like automatically repurchased this like I had for years and years and years is just simply because of the fact that my skin has changed. You know, when I began this journey, my skin was a lot more oily and it was a lot more acne prone. It was um, very clogged and in that sense, this cleanser really served the purpose. You know what I mean? It has a lot of tea tree oil in it. It actually is a great gentle acne fighter. Um, but my skin is different now. I have a lot less oil on my skin. Um, my skin is so much clearer than it was when I started this journey for a multitude of reasons. And your skin will change over time, by the way. Things can't always be the same. It will change. It will fluctuate. And so now I just feel like this cleanser doesn't really serve me anymore. You know, my, my skin uh, doesn't need so much oil control or acne control as it needs gentle moisture preservation. This cleanser doesn't really do that, by the way. This is really best for those who have a little bit more oil on their skin, best for those who are fighting acne. If you um, are dehydrated, if you do have uh, dry skin or even combo dry skin, this might be drying for you. So that's kind of where I'm at with this cleanser. Um, I would have no problems using this. Again, it's beautiful cleanser but it just doesn't serve me anymore but it definitely served me um, in that period of time so so well so let me know in the comment box below what is one of those products that you've repurchased over and over and over again I'm really curious to know your holy grail staples if you're not already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing it really means so much to me when you guys do subscribe to my channel I release two new K beauty videos every single week and don't forget to turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop when I post the new video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I really can't wait to see you in the next video. And if you can't wait to see me either, I hope you can't, um, come on over to Instagram. I post on there daily about my skincare routines. I do uh, reviews and I introduce all kinds of new products over there. So come join me on Instagram and don't forget to leave me a comment saying hi. All right, I can't wait to see you. I hope you're having a beautiful day and a fantastic skin day. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.